What is going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. For those of y'all already here, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. If you like what you see, mash that like button. Let's get it. So basically the reason for the video is I want to go a little over uh, fill stacks and um, essentially the importance of hards and sharps. And kind of uh, to go over the importance of upgrading your weapon um, to 15 and then getting it to gold and then Basically, you want to bring up uh, your Black Spirit, obviously pressing down on your D-pad, go to Enhancement, and you go put the one off, you want to put the gear, so then I grab it. For its size, it has fewer trustworthy merchants than you'd think. Alright, and when working on your fail stacks, you want to use the chest, the armor piece. Um, only because it actually has a lower chance to succeed. Alright. Uh, I got 11 stones, so we're not going to be able to get the fail stack up too, too high. See, it's it's gonna go up a little bit with each fail now, but it's all the way down to 20%, and it's only up to a plus nine. So, yeah, that one went through. Uh, plus ten. Obviously, I don't have the stones for it right now. I also don't have the weapon, but. <laughs> Again, I mean, this is basically RNG as well. I mean, you can sit here and, and and find it to be completely difficult to get a stack to you know get over nine or ten. But uh, you basically want to use the chest piece because again, it has the lower chance just to to start off with. So that way, when you stack all these uh, enhancements, these fail stacks, and the percentage goes up. You know, it's still going to be fairly low compared to the, uh, the rest of the gear. What? No, that phone snack, it doesn't work. I know. What's the problem? <laughs> then let's go. Greatest weapons are the ones made from the very hands of this artisan, Dobart. Basically, I'm gonna hope that it goes. That I don't get a single one. And... 
Hey there! Would you like to buy a weapon that never breaks? I have weapons that never shatter! <laughs> hey there! Would you like to buy a weapon that never breaks? <laughs> Demi-humans and animals all have different attributes. Use weapons that fit them. <laughs> hey there! Would you like to buy a weapon that never breaks? I have weapons that never shatter. <laughs> As you can see, we're at four right now. Because if you've been watching this, you'll notice that I'm getting, I guess, lucky. Because, man, I can't get this. I think eight's the highest I've had so far. <laughs> hey there. Would you like to Just to hope that we can get the rest breaks? of these to not to fail. Not to not forget. Oh my god. I have <laughs> hey there! Would you like to buy a weapon that never breaks? Alright, so that was uh... <laughs> I, mean, I don't know how helpful that was. Basically, you're just trying to fail. So that way you can succeed hey on the higher like armor. Uh, let me just show you what I'm... I'm talking about. Alright, so I got this duo already. Now, as you can see, right now it's just under a 7% chance for enhancement. And that's where those, you know, large fail stacks come into play. Especially considering that the, the stones that you need to use to, to get those to go through, at the moment, aren't very easy to get in-game. So you want to try to get these uh, fail stacks and stuff. Why does he keep doing that? <laughs> hey there! Would you like to buy a weapon that never breaks? Shatter. 
<laughs> hey there! Would you like to buy a weapon that never breaks? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try this again. Hopefully we have worse, better luck. <laughs> Come on, keep going. Alright, so basically, alright, we're gonna stop right here for, uh, before it goes through. Now, as you can see by the number, <coughs> excuse me, uh, above the picture of the armor on your screen, you can see it says enhancement chance. Now, obviously, the higher that gets, the higher your enhancement rate percentage will actually increase. And the reason that this is beneficial and important is because, again, once you get to those duos and prize and tries and tets and you know, etc. And the materials that it costs, or the gear that it costs, you know. Um, how you, like perfect example actually is the the the, the Zarka, Zarka, uh, yeah, the Zarka and the the Leverto uh, weapons. Now obviously they're fairly rare drops and very expensive on the broker. <laughs> hey there. Would you like so to trying to you know. Breaks? get one of those leveled up within the shatter. first hundred durability it, it, it's tough I'm not saying it's not doable but it's gonna be tough um, <laughs> hey there. Would you like to buy a weapon that so basically breaks? recovering the durability on one of those is gonna be a lot harder it's not gonna be as easy to come by as it will some of the other stuff in the game And I tried to uh, I tried to make my weapon ultimate. And I tried to have it go from using a reform stone, and I actually lost my duo. That never so before you uh, before you even pry these, make sure you get them to ultimate. You know, which I, I definitely gonna do to my boots and my gloves before I do those. I actually lost the blue on my gloves trying to do it on those. I'm I'm just salty that I lost my duo. <laughs> learning experience, yeah. right? Like, like, like I said, breaks. I'm I'm learning this as I go myself. But uh, yeah, basically you're just trying to get this to go as high as possible without it succeeding. Now for me, I'm trying to get to about 1720. You know, I bet that's that's about where I'd feel uh, pretty good. Now, I'm gonna leave some of what I uh, failed at doing, if you will, in the videos to show you that it's it's essentially RNG. This there's, there's no right or wrong way to do this to a degree. Y you have to be doing this with armor um, because if you're doing it with uh, boots or gloves, especially, the enhancement rate is naturally higher. So your, your chance of actually succeeding on a lower fail stack is going to be higher. So we're just going to get back into this and hope that we can continue to go and not succeed at the enhancement. Because I, I want to try to get my weapon back to duo or uh, my chest to pry. Ah... Uh, God dang it, man. Alright, so 
back to try to do it all over again. The greatest but you get the point. The ones made I, I from the very hope. hands of this artisan, Dobart. That's all I have. So I <laughs> all right, let's go back in and hope we can get this back up there. I think this time I'll stop at 15 and just try my luck with that. Three? You're gonna go on a three? You're, you're gonna go on a three? Alright, so essentially that's the goal is to get your enhancement chance number as high as possible. So essentially it's basically, you're just trying to fail as many um, enhancement po uh, chances as possible without it going through. And then what you would do is let's say I kept that to 15, you know, I would then come up here and whatever one I wanted to do then, you know, I'd say I'd take this one. And I'd throw that in there, and then once I grinded these out using my heating or whatever, and made the stone I needed, I'd throw that in there. Now this would be a lot easier to show, I think, with the actual enhancement chance up there and me actually attempting it. But obviously since I don't have any stacks up, I am not going to do this because... Well, for starters, again, these stones, these hards and sharps, aren't very easy to get in the game right now. So, essentially what you want to try to do is you want to try to perfect, or as close as possible, get to a system, a number range, um, if you will, that works for you. And essentially don't, run, you know, blow through all your money and not have any stacks to show for it. Now I'm I'm gonna come back and do this again later and hopefully get something a bit better to show you. But right now, again, we're just gonna go through it again real quick. You just throw a lowly piece of gear. You could buy one that's already you know got plus nine or so on the broker, um, and then just start trying to enhance it. Basically, try to get it to as high a number as possible without it succeeding. Now I don't um I don't believe your fail stacks uh are tuned to tune. I mean I don't believe if you do fail stacks on this account and go onto your alt that you'll be able to use those same fail stacks. I haven't actually gone to check I just, I don't think that would make sense. I have weapons that never shatter. But, before we go, I'm gonna show you real quick what I was hey talking there. about. Would you like to buy a weapon that never breaks? As soon as I can get stuck. Alright, so we're just gonna go to our heating. Sharp weapons. Put the sharp weapon. That going. Basically, after you'd get your armor in there and you'd get it, um, you'd get the fail stack to where you'd want it to go. Then you would take that piece out, so you can, you know, because you don't want to actually succeed on that piece. You would take that piece out and then put whatever piece you wanted in with the corresponding stone, and then you attempt it with that one. Obviously, as you can see right now, it's a six point. 25% chance. That's the chances of that feeling. Obviously, are, you know, it's pretty obvious, pretty high. 
but that's a ridiculous, ridiculously low RNG chance on this game. Like personally, I would try to get it to about 2025. 20, that's just for this. Now, from what I've heard and read, once you get up to higher levels, like those tets and stuff like that, then the the fail stacks you need for the, oh my god, like I've heard a ridiculous. But for now, hopefully, this is something that could get you at least familiar with it, and I suggest either trying to find something else on YouTube or Google that kind of goes over it a little bit better or more in detail, or just practicing. You know, if you have a ton of stones, like I said, uh, try to get a plus six to a plus nine piece of armor, and then just enhance it. And obviously, y you don't want to get to to max. That's not the goal. The goal is to try to fail. And, but again, you don't have any control over that. That is literally all RNG. If it wants to succeed on you on 7 every time, then you're going to have to get it to 7, stack it, and then try to use one of those stones. Then maybe put it back in and try building it back up. Or even still, get it to 7, give it a little bit of a break. Who knows? You, I mean, you could you could wait three hours and then you know end up getting that fail stack to 50, or you could wait three hours and get it to go on the first one you do when you get back. Again, it's it's pure RNG. And with that said, you're gonna get discouraged uh, trying to get these stacks up. You know. Hold on, I'm sorry. As you can see from this video, you know. I couldn't, I got it over 10 once, just once in the entire time I did this video. Now it's going to be edited so it's broken down, but essentially I've been sitting here for 41 minutes doing this. So in 41 minutes, only one time got over a 10 fail stack. Now you could be opposite, you could get lucky and do the same thing and have it only one time where you get less than 10. Repair? No, I can't guarantee it, but I think it's possible.
all right that's going to be it for today's video uh i hope you enjoyed it and hey if you ain't subscribed already make sure you hit that subscribe button stay tuned for many more videos to come and for those of y'all already here man we're gonna say it as much as possible because it's the truth i appreciate each and every one of y'all and i'll catch y'all in the next video man y'all be safe later